that is the most pure music. It's got forgotten. It's got forgotten through the years and in our centuries, totally forgotten. It's important not to lose these traditions uh, and uh, always maintain them alive. And so I think this, this part of the mission of the competition is very uh, valuable and important for the society, for, for, for musicians as well. We need to go back to the traditional music sometimes to have more bass. I want to be a good human being. <laughs> That's my goal. Yeah. I want to I want to be a good person. That's all. Yeah. For to be a good musician. So it's perfect. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. That, that's, so I, I, it's it's a very correct decision. I I've never played in a competition that required just that. I played, of course, you know, bigger competition, but this one it was perfect, I believe. Very, uh, very nice because I like uh, classical repertoire, and my uh, professor Achilles de Lavigne, um, uh, he's a, a, a disciple of Claudio Rau, and uh, Beethoven uh, uh, sonatas and Beethoven music and uh, Bach and uh, all, uh, other classical repertoire uh, is very important in our class. And uh, I'm glad that uh, in this competition I can, uh, I can show this repertoire. For a very unusual competition program because of 20th century music is denied and um, it makes it more challenging and more difficult. I got a chance to play my favorite music, which is I, I stick with uh, Baroque, Classical and Romantic for now. I think classical music is so much deeper. I think music can heal, it can communicate, it can do so many things. Um, and what I try to do is I try to communicate with the audience. I think that's really important to either touch them or to inspire them or to help them feel what I'm feeling at that time. As if I'm using words with you now, I try to use the piano on stage to speak to the audience.